Zippy, the porcupine. Safe enough to get away from that copyright law. Are you fast enough to get away? Can I try it? Hill zone, not green hill, so it's different. It's a different, it's a brown hill zone. Holy Lord. Look at that giant hill. That takes all the graphics in the world. There we go, that's a bad guy. <laughs> the rings got away from you. All right, run up that shit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Delicious. It's got as, uh, as much fixed momentum as Sonic 4. Do a spin dash. You can. And here's uh, the fantastic tunes from this uh, Zippy the Porcupine. And just as many uh, pit holes as a Sonic 06. Truly a marvel of uh, engineering and graphic design, programming, levels. He should have had like, uh, I don't know, like boots instead of shoes or something like that. <laughs> Did he just boost up to a new level? Oh, that's right, because the screen, it's so, it's so small, the area that you have to work with, there's two levels. That's, he's not booting up into like another level. It's the same one. It's just the top part of it. And then he died. I don't know how you're supposed to know when the grant, when that's going to drop you down to another level or into death, but you know. Speed run. And now here's a real game for real gamers. Hold on guys. Let me give you sort of a slice of this action. Ah, here we go. Press start, please. Emerald Hill Zone, ooh, beautiful. If only I could remember the debug mode for it, then I could just get to the warp to the last level and show everyone, hey, look, I won. <laughs> Just delicious. Look at that. Oh, it feels so good. Wasn't that the thing about Sonic games, especially in the 16-bit era? The first level felt the best. It had the best flow. The other ones, I mean, especially Sonic 1 had that trouble where the later levels were kind of, uh, eh, not so great. They didn't really have a good grasp on what they were doing. Sonic 2 had less of that, but it still had that sort of, uh, that stop, that, uh, that hard stop where you're like, oh, fuck. They didn't really think this level threw out very much. And it's funny too, you, you see how Sonic just sort of flops through those uh, bad guys? I don't know how much, uh, like I know you can kind of bounce off of them, but it's interesting that um, the modern Sonics, like as soon as you hit them, boom, like you're boosted up there. Not saying it's a bad thing, just saying. And of course, uh, this, uh, you, have to, you have to start with Sonic 2. Sonic 1 doesn't have this uh, here spin dash, makes the game uh, nearly unplayable. There we go. That's look at that. 79 rings, gamers. That's true game right there. Let's do one more round of this. Oh, I'm <laughs> all right. Now we're, we're pro gaming here. Here we go. This is how the real the pros do it. Speed running. Of course, the trick to speed running is to get the uh, to get the shoes that makes the speed run even faster. That's your game down, game time down by half. There we go. We gotta time the jump. It's essentially it becomes a rhythm game. Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, foretold the rise of Guitar Hero and Band Hero or whatever it's called. Oh, Rock Band. There we go. Uh oh, slow down time, gamers. This is when things get serious. It's robotic. What do I do? <laughs> Look at that. You bounce on his head. Oh. Oh. Actually, I've been showing you the best part. You're technically invincible as long as you have one star. Remember that. Pro tip gamers from a pro gamer. Nope. 
He's still alive. We got 58 seconds left, guys. We can do this. Don't do this, though. Uh-oh. That's a mistake. Thank you, Tails, for ruining for playing the game for me. Jeez, how casual is this game? You have a second guy doing all the work for you. Jesus Christ, let me go finish this. Disgusting, casual, spill. I don't want anything to do with it. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. How come there's no kick? I'm Chen Li. 